Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Now, so I would like to welcome you to yet another wonderful segment, my message segment with me, Cherno Muaz. Alhamdulillah, inside the last segment, in our last week Friday, we will look at the Islamic perspective on the corona pandemic, as how Islam view them, and what now some of the things they were supposed for them, and how we as Muslims them for prevent, you know, some preventive measure we will take as Muslims for protect yourself against this particular virus. Yeah. So inshallah, inshallah, we want for look at a very new topic. We inshallah, since we did inside April now, and we patiently wait and anticipate for the holy month of Ramadan. Today, inside the segment, we want for come and look at how we as Muslims for prepare for this holy month of Ramadan. Put now some of the, you know, advice the way we share could give you for make we prepare well because anybody will lie to us me if you not prepare well for this particular month it will come and go and you know we will gain the benefit way the inside it so with me i get with me today for discuss this very important topic brother fumba we blank can call junior fumba and junior fumba as somebody we a day into so many things we now a developmental something for we islamic society now this country so you know we get specific saying now this in now that in one grade day into nasheed a day into dawa now somebody they give lectures and somebody they do spoken word now somebody they do the right films and so many things in the way they do for push islam go before end now i honor forget and today with me for discuss this wonderful topic assalamu alaikum and welcome to my message segment alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh thank you for having me no. So yeah. let's you know normally we can shake hand, but yeah. until you know now we can just say assalamu alaikum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now um, we want for let me start at as I said the topic we want for really look at how we as Muslims for prepare for this holy month of Ramadan. So but before they go into the topic proper, first we want for make it tell we what in Ramadan and why Ramadan so important in the Muslim in life. All right, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala Rasul Kareem wa ala Ali wa sabi ajma'in wa ba'd. Um, once again, I want to say salam to viewers them out there. Ramadan, basically, now one of the fundamental principles of Islam. In the hadith of the beloved Prophet so Muhammad yeah, sallallahu so. alaihi wasallam, reported in um, um, Imam An Nawawi in forty hadith collection, hadith number two and three, the Prophet say that Islam based on five foundations, and then foundations, and then we easily can call pillars of Islam. So one of the main pillars of Islam now fasting of course you know so we get prayers we get zakat and the rest of it but fasting also means sound in the main arabic language waiting fasting means literally now for stop something so now the reason why most times islamic scholars and can prefer we use fasting for mean abstaining instead of fasting okay. because the goal of ramadan or maybe sound it simply means where something sees for example if the breeze don't stop for kami they say the breeze don't fast if you say today you need to talk to nobody, it simply means say you the fast from speaking. But the significance of him again, like you rightly asked within the Islamic context, now that now one of the biggest opportunity where Muslims get all over the world for demonstrate the significant aspect on worship for Allah. So imagine food where we lack so much, drink where we lack so much, yeah. we juice, we chicken them, we they left all them things that are only for serve the pleasure of Allah. So I think so one of the significant to get as well now for let we able to understand this in a real context. Then finally the significance of this very month of Ramadan, now that now this very month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described inside Surah Al-Baqarah, it says, Shahr Ramadan, Alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an, hudan li nas wa bayinati min al-huda wa al-furqan. Now because this is the very month where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent guidance for the entire humanity through the glorious Qur'an as a guide for the entire human society, regardless of gender, ages, class, tribe, or any region or society. So now a very big month, and I hope say Muslims are really ready at this time, regardless of the challenging moment all across the world, for welcome this wonderful month, inshallah. So mashallah for that wonderful point, and the end from the last one we just mentioned about the Holy Quran, we as well show indeed how Ramadan very important, you know, the glorious Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your word, we not through them words, then they, they take for communicate. So, so imagine then kind words, then they 
Allah bring them inside this holy month. And also for talk more on this particular one, you know, in one particular surah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describe, you know, how mighty this Quran, wait, we say, La wanzalna haza al-Quran, ala jabal la ra'ayta u khashyan, mutashadda min khashyati Allah. That this particular Quran, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describe in a way that he said, if not been a heal, you know, if he may come, exactly. then therefore don't smash yeah. because of, yeah. you know, the fear of Allah. Yeah. And this particular Quran, the Quran you see, mortal man gets the opportunity for putting in your heart. Yeah. And so this, all this beauty in this particular Quran come yeah. inside the holy month of Ramadan. Indeed, that they show how significant this month is. And also now to the topic proper, as I say, with all them significance them yeah, for let somebody not miss, you know, the benefits, the moon half away inside this particular month. Mm -hmm. How we as Muslims for actually prepare for this particular month? Thank you very much for this very significant question. I think now question where the um, like it resound among many Islamic circles. Preparation for Ramadan, majority of the time we're not can just discuss some like something where it unfamiliar within Islamic communities. I think most of the time when you get um, people getting or hiring about Ramadan, many ways then they for prepare for them. For example, inside the month of um, Shaban where na the month where they lead up to Ramadan, many people, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, na been the month and the way be the fast most of the time. So mainly the goal for this, na based on one of the very significant verse where Allah mentioned inside Surah Al-Mulk, in verse 2, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Allazi khalaq al-mawta wal-hayata liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala. The goal of this life, Allah says, firstly, it creates death, meaning, non-existence been there. Me and you for some years before we bath, they will not be even they exist. Then Allah says, wal hayat, it create the life and make we exist. Why? The yabluakum, because he want to make this life of this world as simply a test for letting know which one of we go be good in character and in deeds. So again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in goal for the entire Muslim community and population, the entire dunya, and for ensure the people able for practice this good habit, for ensure that we're able for keep moving ahead. So one of the ways that we can prepare mostly now in two cents. So one of the cents now, what we call mental preparation or the preparation of the mind. Many people can say, yes, I will buy boku fish, put on a fridge, I go pack the rest, boku boku one for later, eat in the morning and many other things. But by Allah, in the hadith of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet say, Allah know they look onto the way how we appear. Allah know they look onto the way how we do things. The only way they look onto the things that we do, not dependent on the intention for which we do them for. Also, in that very hadith in An Nawawi, narrated by Amirul Mu'minin Umar bin Al Khattab, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Inna mal a'malu bin So everything where the Muslim they do, the significant part of the preparation, now for let it prepare, say, if they fast, you not go fast because of government, you not go fast for Corona, or maybe you not go fast because other challenges than they are around. But it is fast because this fasting now Allah order and command them and are the best of things for do for now. Secondly, how we can also prepare. Now for let we sit down consciously as Muslims, you know, hold on to a pen and write certain things. For example, inside Surah Azab, chapter 33, verse number 35, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make mention of up to 10 classes of people where he say these are the people where he don't guide and where he don't prepare paradise for. Sidom and imagine among them people are whether you they among them. For example, among them he say, Inna mal muslimina wal muslimati wal mu'minina wal mu'minati. You know that very verse there. So if you go ila akhiri ayah, if you check into that very verse, Allah mentioned one believe a, a Muslim people where their heart don't submit for no say Allah not the only one God. Secondly, look at yourself how much you believe. You get believer traits and characteristics and the third one, Allah says, the one they were thin up straight and firm into whatever then they do. The one they were obedient, the one they were truthful, the one they were then they covered and shameful parts them. So look at yourself within that range day and ask yourself whether you've been truthful all throughout the past Ramadan and what you need for do this Ramadan for let you be more truthful than you used for be. Ask yourself whether you used for pray better before this Ramadan they come and know how you want to improve on this idea when this Ramadan they go away. So many other ways than they for prepare, but obviously that also the part of the preparation of the mind. How you go able to see them, develop ideas and other things. Then. Secondly, we get this, you know, tradition. People say, okay, if you're impossible, we don't avoid self. Now the best time is for make peace. Yes, of course they are right. This is not the best time for make peace with whosoever, whether they are Muslims or non-Muslim. This is not the best opportunity for let you be humble. Again, even as we discuss and so brother Moaz, unfortunately, if you go again and check very well, you will find out say, some people with all these 
luxurious preparation where they don't prepare, so they don't go meet the Ramadan. Yeah. Ramadan don't go meet them. We know people are ready, next on Afila, and that next morning we bury them. We the pan day one fasting, in the day one inside in grave. So everything in this dunya, now the best way for prepare for them, now the intention. Because in the hadith reported by Hunayf, and who said the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say, when person ready for perform a particular act, he said the best opportunity where that person get now for let he think for perform the act from a sincere ground. If he think for perform that act from a very sincere ground, wherein he do it only for the sake of Allah, the Prophet say if this person not able for accomplish that tax at the end of the day, Allah they reward this person here as though he don't already perform that good deeds day. So, so this had is very significant, Brother Moaz, because if, if you look technically, you go don't prepare all for this Ramadan, but at the end of the day, in case Allah take your life, you already don't give oath to Allah. You already don't prepare to Allah. Say, yeah, Allah, this Ramadan go be the best of me, Ramadan. Yeah, Allah, inshallah, if this Ramadan really can meet me in this good, well body and long life, I go willing for do more, for give more, for talk to more people, for unify people and more, for do goodness more. So within this, if even if you die before the Ramadan they come, Allah they reward you almost as if you don't keep the entire Ramadan. Then they far better for you as a believer comparatively to let me say you don't even prepare in the first place you mind say you're ready for change all you know now that this ramadan already can ah, <laughs> tina corona now two days no more they keep as two days done so you don't done or this ramadan now just 10 days no more as we don't know so ah this ramadan no to get for go left the moon then check it and then go down and for we know this if this be your intention by allah even if ramadan meets you Allah not give you the complete reward for Ramadan. Yeah. So Ramadan is a very significant month. Let Muslims and take seriously and let we all work together, specifically this time where the world they go through serious, serious challenge and pandemic. We need for pray together and ask Allah for in mercy and in love back onto humanity. All right, mashallah for the wonderful point. And again, add up to that again. I think one way back way we will prepare, we some time elaborate just a bit now on the goal setting for Ramadan. Yeah, yeah. Because maybe before you go into Ramadan, highlight some of the things the way we to see one for achieve. Yeah. You know, because the month actually now like a school. Yeah. You know, it can for can train you. So that particular school you now, what you want to achieve. And that class day mm -hmm. for the end of the Ramadan. You're very correct. I think I just have to talk about this goal setting in another way where you know put in a summarized okay. form like I put and so. So technically from that very vast quote from Suratul Azab, major thing where they try to talk about now this goal setting. You don't see all these 10 wonderful people that Allah talk about in that very verse. The one that where they remember Allah often, the one that where they speak the truth, the one that where so obedient, the one that where they so stand firm in anything that they do, the one that where they believe, the one that where they have to don't submit. Put your mind now into that. For example, like our brother um, um, Moaz, they say rightly as you watch, get a goal, set a goal. This time, I want for ensure, say, from this Ramadan to next Ramadan, or maybe within this Ramadan, yeah, where they cancel. I not go watch film self. Because the unfortunate thing about this thing, Shaikh, many people, they feel, say, well, I watch film or I play games in bon my time. phones, just bomb time in something unnecessary. Now, then they make the fast no more me. Yes, you go keep the fast, you know, go more you boy, the mystery reward. Another thing people never forget, now that way you don't set this your goal, after you don't set the goal, say this Ramadan not for past me, I know land 10 more surah. What do they do? We do what we call goal grating. Goal great in a way they spark that goal day, like you they pleat that goal into halves, half half. So for example, you go save now 10 surah one for land throughout the course, or maybe 20 surah. Get say, okay, one surah for land within two days. Two days are for don't learn another surah. Two days are for don't learn another surah. Yeah, break down. Right. And within that, if you're able also put, put the intention, say you they learn this surah with the meaning. Because another major problem we get in Islam, many people say al-Fatiha, but they don't know the meaning of Fatiha. Not that opportunity, not for let them learn these meanings, but these people maybe not get the inspiration for move in and look at textbooks them, or maybe Islamic lectures, the way they interpret them surahs, they are for let them able to understand. Right. Okay. Quickly again, is it... The, the lock bush okay, part of the yeah ex exactly so the, the lock bush in the context in which some of we understand them now that people and they commit more sin in the hope that coming into ramadan allah they can forgive me obviously it is true allah they forgive all sins but you are like doing these sins you know when they do something i say okay somebody say if you go and they beat you then it's okay, well, I'll go there now, I'll see, I'll be waiting, they can do me. The problem with this log bushing, now the same thing I just don't explain. If you don't come on log bush, that very net of Ramadan, or before that very net of Ramadan, and then the next day you pass away, you die. 
tell me, you they go back with our bundles of Cindy. And we all now, even myself now, no get hope, say, they live till tomorrow. You self no get hope. Even they say, where they watch, no get hope. So we get for take this thing from a perspective, say, Allah send we for a mission in this life. And the purpose of life, for let we able for accomplish them, we able to accomplish them better if we get closer relationship to Allah than where we just treat everything carelessly. For example, some man, they go commit sin, say, look bush, they go dance. But you know, oh. Corona this way, where you don't cancel. We are like bush no day. Pass you do and I also whichever way. All right. Well, the, the topic so interesting. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Look at how we spend more time. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. Like, as always, normally we can get the last <coughs> side because we know actually not get much time again at the segment yeah, yeah. where we can call the final message your guests can give you. But this time around, because of the time, I will want to make you know because okay, normally left I'm open. Yeah. But because of the yeah. time, I just want to maybe lab it be specific yeah. because you know say right now. We did inside this particular coronavirus. Yeah, of course, and makes sense. Inside the month of Ramadan, they expect to it get for me to eat. Mm -hmm. And plenty mm -hmm. masjid then get for luck. Yeah. And we mean say plenty of people don't use for the nafila, mm -hmm. pray them five minutes, mm -hmm. prayer. Be all and get for the bit, yeah. house. Yeah. And not stop the back the one them back way we do say all their life, most of the Ramadan they only spend them and also hope say now we then go na the masjid no. they go break them fast. No. But now if this happens so now I mean say that no get for the happen. Yeah again. of course. So yeah. if you get for the final message, what thing will be your message to the one that we get the upper hand? So my main message specifically to the one them we get enough during this month of Ramadan, now that inshallah do you best connect with organizations them where they promote charitable activities in Islam and reach out to these organizations for let them self Able for you able for donate and give small thing for ensure you able for feed a believing Muslim at this very time it extremely critical. For example, the Agva Charity Foundation maybe go there on some activities. You get other organizations, several Islamic organizations, maybe Yadi and several. So put put. A, a set of mind, you know, say, if you normally use for ghee certain amount of money, not say because this na corona, you know, the ghee. In fact, people need them this time more than ever. So reach out to these organizations, try for reach out to them and ensure, say, you contribute. And my general message to all the other Muslims, let we not lose hope, let we stand firm. Inshallah, Allah will make we succeed someday. When I take note of all the very rules and regulations, they now where they don't put out, now for we safety and for we all, for let we go able for live beyond this time and get more opportunity for what Worship Allah before we find our day they meet when our certainty and go and meet Allah. Let Allah make we all be among people them where it don't destine for going inside paradise. Amen. Mashallah, brother Fumba. Well, that now, brother Fumba, we me deal with me today for make we talk about the preparation of Ramadan, how we as Muslims for prepare for this holy month of Ramadan, and I hope so we don't benefit a lot. And to the message we give it, it tell we say, let we look at organizations them. We get for implement so many projects them inside this holy month of Ramadan. As we say, people and get for the cut fast now the host. And not all man get the upper hand for that provision day. We some man don't use for the gun and mocks and everything, okay, and it break a fast day. But that with the say and say maybe you not get for happen so. So you get the upper hand for more guests. It's how we say they will look out to organization them. We get forget if tag program them. There will be so many if tag programs and we organization get for the implement. Search for them and make you be part of them and also make you be charitable inside the holy month of Ramadan. Well now so we'll come to the end of the young segment. Don't forget to me we bring the segment to now. Me and tell no more as until we meet again. That's why I will let for say ma salam. Uh -huh.